recording. Okay. Three, two, two one. Whoa! Oh, I Holy shit! I almost hit you! <laughs> For this first test, we're in the middle of nowhere, Arizona, here. Uh, we've got firing extinguishers because it's, it's not the dry, dry season just yet, but we want to make sure that we're safe in case the rockets uh, start a small fire. We also have a little wall that we're going to be using in order to find out how fast these rockets are going and how fast the FPV is actually going and then comparing the two. Now, we're going to start with a smaller rocket that we have and, um, and, and we put a B engine. If you're familiar with rockets, the B engine is kind of a, a smaller engine and then Don is going to fly one of his really fast. So we'll see which one goes up first. And after this, we have two other rockets. One that's going to take C and D engine and we have the big one that takes an E engine. Uh, one of them, we're going to take a camera on board with it. We're going to take the 360 camera on board with it and then kind of see what kind of footage we get. Now, these rockets, they go pretty high up. They will go to uh, 600 feet for the first one and then they're going to go all the way to 1400 feet on paper for the last one. You may be asking, how is this different than the 400 foot rule? Well, for rockets, there's actually a slightly different rule. Now, we made sure that there is nothing else around us, that there is no airport and no other people flying around. So we're doing pretty safe with this. Uh, let's get to it. All right, so this is test number one. We've got the drone over there flying. Uh, we're going to be getting an overall footage of this thing. So we're going to go up probably about 600 feet with the rocket. Don has his little drone right here. Don, do you want to talk about us? Tell us a little bit more about this thing right here. What, uh, oh, yeah. what kind of battery do you, are you running on this? Uh, it's a 6S1300 and it's, uh, this is for testing. So uh, we got a 75C punch on there. Um, it's one of my older ones. So this, this thing been around for a couple years and it's, uh, it's pretty much my beater. But... That, that thing pretty fast? <laughs> yeah, it sure is fast. <laughs> well, we're going to find out. So, first test, Riptide against this thing, and let's see what happens. All right. Are you ready? Am I ready? Three, two, one, go! Now, well, we're switching to blue. Take this little rubber thingy off. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. I jumped the gun, but oh, I yeah, so did I a little bit. But I didn't, I didn't have to though. Dude, I, so I jumped the gun a little bit, and I think I didn't have to. I missed it. Well, uh, I think did you did you start late? No, I started on go. Yeah, but that's me. I I, I because you know what you we just said. I jumped it like between it one and. Took off and I followed it. Yeah. But I was underneath the smoke trail. But we'll be able time. to um, we'll be able to measure it when it goes up. So it'll be interesting to see. Let's yeah, do it again. Test number two, we're going to test the same rocket we just did. Um, I'm not going to jump the gun this time. On the previous one, I kind of jumped the gun. Uh, but this is a C motor now. So we're going to C65 uh, for the motors. And, uh, and we're going to see. Uh, it was a pretty close call on the previous one. I jumped the gun a little bit. Don pretty much followed me all the way up. So we're going to see now if the next one makes a difference. Uh, we may come back actually to the B engine eventually, but we want to see how far we can go uh, before Don is completely lost in the dust. But so far, the FPV is doing pretty awesome. So let's get to it. Three, two, one, go. go. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit, I, I almost it. hit you. <laughs> oh, it's coming down fast. Watch out. Take a look. Take a look. It's coming down fast. I, I saw it going up and I was like, I thought I was going to hit you, like going in. It really looked like it was going to. When, when you took off, like you gained a little bit and then I sped up and then you were like right there next to my video feed. Round number two, FPV wins. This, guy. This, was a, uh, this was a C motor. So we tried the B motor. We weren't really sure. Uh, we're going to look at the footage because I don't believe you won, but uh, <laughs> and uh, so now next we're going to change rockets. We're going to go with this, uh, the, the Jason called the Pig Panther. 
Um, we're going to put a camera in here. Well, first we're going to run because now, uh, now that uh, Don is winning, which I wasn't expecting, we're going to go with no payload, but we got the one with the clear thing so we can put a 360 camera in here. So first we're going to run it without anything on D motors, which is the next level. And then, um, and then we're going to put a camera in it afterwards. And when we're done, we have uh, the large rocket right here that we can run with a E motor, the, the much bigger motor. So we'll see if uh, Don keeps winning, but this is exciting. So let's get to the next one, number three. Uh, I, I pushed a button, but there, oh, are you coming down? Oh, whoa, it's coming down. Looks like we had a failure of a parachute coming down. And so they, I don't think we're going to be able to reuse that rocket. So, all right. Yeah, it didn't. So this is supposed to happen in flight and, uh, and it didn't. So we have a little bit of paint on the edges here. Could be one of the issue. It, you know what? It, it looks like it can fly again. Yeah. Amazing. Look at the size of this hole in here. Just be, be right next to this big rock, which would have destroyed it completely. This thing was in here. So we decided that we're actually not going to shoot this rocket again after some uh, consideration. There, there are two things that kind of worry us. The first one is that it's really snug right here, which means that when uh, the, the engine in here pops the top right here, which is where the parachute is located. Uh, we're afraid that uh, this didn't happen because it was too snug, either because of the paint or because of the design. And also the fact that uh, because it didn't pop, it looks like it pushed the engine out, which we do not want to do. Um, we don't want to have these engines out there possibly being hot and possibly starting a fire. So we have all the equipment, but this is the last thing that we want to mess with. So uh, we're going to retire the Pink Panther for right now. Uh, it did what it had to do. It <laughs> dug a hole, went straight down. Now we're going to move to the next one, which is what Jason is working on right now, which is this uh, large one. We haven't named that one, but uh, we, um, we're we going to put the, the payload in here. This is much, much larger. This will take an E rocket. Uh, we're going to start with a D and then we're going to go to the E. D with no payload and then we'll do E maybe depending on how you do. If we really beat you, then we'll just put a payload in there and ship it with an E rocket and then see what happens. But uh, all right, let's get to it. Here, I'm just going to use this one. So this is step number five, flight number five. We're going to be flying the larger rocket with the D motors in it. And Don is going to keep doing what he does. So let's find out who's fastest. Three, two, one, two. What happened, Don? Okay, so this one was pretty much a uh, no contest. Uh, the rocket actually did go faster. Now this was kind of expected. Actually, I was expecting it pretty early on. I think you did too. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so this is a D, D motor, uh, D engine. Basically just uh, we did go much faster. This went pretty far up. I think this was over a thousand feet on here. Uh, so I think we're done testing against the, the FPV. I think the FPV is getting a little tired too, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the punches, I mean, this is a lot of current getting into the drone very quickly. So not something that we want to do for too long anyway. Plus you had a couple tests where uh, the rocket didn't go off, down went off. So uh, I think we've done quite a good bit of testing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the Insta360 and we're going to take this thing up and see how quickly uh, this will rocket. We're going to do an e-motor, the Insta360 inside as uh, inside the, the baggage compartment and then uh, see what happens. So let's get to it. Yeah, it's recording. Say hi. Is the thingy unplugged? The yeah, you can press the button. Three, two, one, go! Holy moly. The camera is on the parachute. What is that? That's the bottom. Oh. Will, Will, go chase the... Go chase that. So this was supposed to be a 1400 foot rocket. And, um, and I think it did go 1400 feet. So it, it at least looked like it was, it went really high up. So Jason went to chase it, um, split into two parts, the bottom part with the engine and then the other part with the payload and hopefully with our camera. So we'll see what the camera looks like. Let's take a look.